Hey everybody, MacPanet and Zero One here, and um, this is some more Falls of Free Horizon. Falls of Horizon Free. Falls of Free Horizon. Where did I get that from? Falls of Horizon Free. And um, I bought the Ultimate Edition a few days ago. Realised that some people will probably hate me for that because there seems to be a really big thing about people buying um, people buying the limited editions and the more expensive ones and blah blah blah. But if you can afford it, why not? So that's what I did. I got it. Sorry, just taking my socks off. And then, um, really, really enjoying the game up to now. It's really polished. It's the graphics are just unbelievably good in this game. The soundtrack is even better. You know, it's got a really good soundtrack. The intro to the game, which I made a video about that for the first 20 minutes or so. The intro to the game was great. The music just fits with it, and. The good thing about the start of the game is that you know you're going to be doing a lot of street racing but also a lot of off-roading and it puts you into both of those situations from the start so you do a little bit of street racing you go straight into a Lamborghini and then you go into a dune buggy and do a bit of off-roading before you get to like your first car and it's brilliant really really good and um, the one thing that I have found with the soundtrack and the radio stations is one you can't turn them all the way off which I've just been trying to do because when I uploaded the video not long afterwards I got an email saying that it had been flagged for copyright and that was because four of the songs in it they're all copyright tunes because it uses you know modern day tunes from well known artists and I didn't think of that at the time so I couldn't monetize that video I've tried to turn it all the way down in this one so hopefully it doesn't get flagged but it probably will but never mind it's still a great game either way anyway um, let's have a look go to the world map so I've just opened my third festival site which is this Surfers Paradise I'm at level 1 at the moment this is your first one down here which is Byron Bay that's the one that you start with and then the second one I was able to do is all the way out here which is the desert one which I've done a little bit more to this I've got it to level 3 on this one and um, yeah I've just been exploring around really but I'm really enjoying the game it's so polished and so you know you're not looking at it and thinking that could be improved or that could be changed it's just near as damn it perfect from the off which is really good the only one thing I don't like is the fact that you've got to go through, especially for the PC for me, is to go through the Microsoft Store to get it. And the Microsoft Store is fucking horrid. I hate it. It is not refined in the slightest. I mean, you've got big AAA titles like this hidden in loads of fucking mobile games. You know, like the £1.50 things of fucking Candy Crush and shit like that. And they just don't put this anywhere where it stands out you've got to go search for it unless it comes up across the top which this one did and the one thing that I had was I bought the game when I finished work on Saturday morning I think it was about half past six in the morning but I'd done a 12 hour shift so I didn't even bother downloading it I just paid for it and buggered off to bed then when I got up in the afternoon and I came down put it on went to download it and I kept getting a message saying try again later something went wrong at our end so I thought, well, it's nice of you to tell me that it's your end and it's not my end. But after getting that message for about an hour, I did a quick Google and Google told me that there was quite a few web pages anyway. There was one and he, he reckoned that he was a Microsoft certified engineer and he'd tell you how to fix the problem. And basically it was like a troubleshooting thing. You just went into control panel, go to troubleshooting and you can pick out the Microsoft store and it just does a check on it and a quick repair. And I think it was the cache that was full on it, or there was something wrong with the cache. Anyway, did that, put the download back on, work fan. So it did take a little while to download, though it didn't fully use all my broadband speed, but I wasn't too bothered about that. It took about an hour to download altogether. But yeah, that's the only issue I've had. But doing that Google search, I found a lot of people with having a lot of issues with the PC version, but I can say that my up to now touch wood my experience has been completely flawless with this game really enjoying it anyway let's have a look apparently in a barn over here somewhere there is a car to be had now I'm assuming it's going to be off one of these little roads around here but we'll just put a, a waypoint there for now and we'll go and have a look we'll, uh, zoom out there 
can go and have a look, see, see what's happening. But yeah, the, the racing and the controls are just really refined in this game. They've really got it spot on. I mean, Forza does anyway. It has done since the first game. It's been, you know, a king of this kind of thing. Whoops, sorry, mate. But they just seem to be getting better and better at it as they go along. Definitely do. I have just been reading though, and this won't please some people. It doesn't bother me too much with this game. But it's got a new anti 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 piracy protection on this game called App X. And and it's really easy to drift cars as well. Brilliant for drifting. Anyway, this thing um is protecting the games from obviously piracy but it also locks down all of the compiled files so that no modding could take place which is bad news really because you know that was always been one of the bonuses of PC gaming it being able to mod games so for now there can be no modding done on this and I think that will stand for all Microsoft Store games that come out and they're gonna push some pretty big titles which is about time they did, it's about time they give us some big titles on the PC but for now we're not going to be able to mod any of them unless they change that so that modding can be applied you know I mean it's not so much a bad thing these days, people like it, people want it me personally I don't actually mod any of my games, I've never modded any games at all I did try it on Grand Theft Auto 5 and I got really confused by how it all went and I just didn't bother in the end, so... But yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that much anymore. Whoa! That was close. We're 167, 170, come on! One thing I found with games like this is that when you get to these kind of speeds, you know that just the, the littlest fuck up and you're going to go flying off the road but this is actually quite easy you've got to really really push it hard to actually make a mistake which it might bore some people especially if you're looking for like the purest sort of you know the proper racing experience but for me it's just spot on because I'm a really shit driver you have arrived at your destination. right I'm at my destination let's have a look around We've got to look for a barn, so I think we'll carry on up the road and have a look up here. The customization options on the car is just insane as well. You can do so much to them. I haven't even begun to look into it because the mod, the menu is just I don't know how to fry my brain. There's just too many of them. You can really get stuck into this though. Right. Does this look like a barn? No, it's more like a house in there. So. That looks like a barn though, but no land. I don't think we're going to be using that. Um, I'll look down the road. I'm fairly sure that I'd seen a website and it showed like a red building. It was inside a red building. That's a red building. We don't have anything inside. Let's just, uh, let's just plow through the garden. We don't need that many tables and chairs anyway. Ooh. It looks like some sort of wedding venue place. Oh, that looks like barn, but it's not got all car in. There were so many cars to collect that are in the barns, and you have to find them. And they give you like, they'll put the map and they'll give you like this purple or a yellow circle to give you like a clue. But it doesn't tell you fully where it could be. And it's not looking like it's around here. So we'll go back down onto the road and we'll go left and then right. Have a look, see if it's down in one of these somewhere. Probably want the best car to choose for um, off roading, but needed something to get here fast because they really didn't want to bore you driving all the way here. 
Oh. Not even. How the hell am I meant to get? Yeah, you get these XP boards. And if you hit them, you obviously collect that amount of XP. But how the fucking hell am I meant to get that one? Oh, for God's sake. Must be a jump somewhere around. Okay, we'll go back to the road. Yeah. We'll go up and then along. We'll go down this way. Ah, oh, nice bit of road. Bit of proper road. That's nice. Let's have a look down and see if there's anything down here. The website gives you all the locations, but I think that's going to take the fun out of it. I don't want to try and find them all myself. It's clearly not down either, is it? It's just taking me back where I've been. So we'll go back this way and try down the bottom. Follow that road down because that's still in the purple circle. Maybe it's in this bit here. This is in the circle. In that bit? No. Okay, well I'm stumped, I don't know. Is it this bit? Where the hell could it be? I can't see any other building type things on there. There's that bit of road there that I haven't been down that bit, have I? Maybe I should do that bit, it could be along there. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. So instead what I might do is go and do a race. Let's have a look at this undiscovered route, let's go do that. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oops, been for a prize. Ah, oh, missed it. Yeah, you get like a roulette wheel thing that you can do every now and again, and it just randomly comes on the screen sometimes. And you do that, and you get either you can win either credits or you can win a car. This seems to come around at random points though. Like six kilometers away. I might cut this bit of the video out. Do you want to see me driving all this way? I don't know. It's a long way. Woo! Flash these lights to let me know anyway, that was cool. Can I squeeze through? Yes! Oh! Get in. That was it. Just traded a bit of paint. Let me get 200. Come on, 200. Yes! 200! Wow! That was this. Whoa. There's a lot of Lamborghinis on this road, isn't there? Oh, what a drift. Another thing I noticed about this game is there's no police. You know, it's not like Need for Speed where you've got police coming around, and I was thinking oh, I should have police in it, and then I thought, oh, maybe it should be an option if you could have police in or not. But there's just nowhere to be seen in the game, which I don't think is a bad thing really, but it would be good to have that kind of option and maybe do like a star system like in Grand Theft Auto, where you're gonna get chased by you because you get some awesome cars, it'd be good to have a few police chases. Turn left. Ooh, fuck that up. Burn out. Yeah. That was cool. Not bad. You see me? Prick. A bit of sideways.
Yeah, I got the ultimate edition and I don't really know what you get with it. I'm pretty much... Oh, I've gone past it. Fuck. That's because I'm talking. I need to shush. But I pretty much got it so that I had the yeah, few days early access to the game. So... I don't actually know what the perks of it. Ah, so... I'll probably work that out as I go along. I know you get extra access to cars and things like that and blah blah blah. But I don't fully know all the way. Anyway, let's do this race, see what this is all about. But I mean, just look at the graphics, they're gorgeous. They're unbelievably brilliant. Really do like them a lot. Ooh, there's some cars in this. Ferrari. There's a Maserati MC12. Get into it. And there's me, a shitty Audi. I like the fact that there's no countdown in the races either, it just starts, that's it, just get straight into it. And you can basically accumulate, accumulate, accu accumulate points for doing practically any kind of manoeuvre in the game. You know, you just do the tiniest little bit of drift and you'll gain XP for it good overtaking manoeuvre or you flash past another car really close XP. It's just not, never ending, the counter never stops going up. I like the way the checkpoint sounds bounce back up last call. Get out of the way! Now there is like a damage system, but as you can see, all you ever really pick up is scrapes. I don't know if there's options to change that so it, it comes on more. But I was thinking some sort of better damage system would be pretty cool, but... I do remember in the uh, Gran Turismo, you had the option to turn it on and off and up and down. I, I think how it is preset in the game is fine for me, because I do do a fair bit of crashing. Trees, trees, I seem to be magnetised to trees for some reason. And the backs of fucking Lamborghinis. And them concrete barriers, I quite like them as well. Lampposts too, lampposts, I fucking love lampposts. Do plenty of them. But yeah, it's not... Where you come from? It's not an over the top thing. And it doesn't impact on your performance. You know, your wheels are overheating and you've got to slow down and blah blah blah. Jesus, this car, car's a bit of shit for cornering. But yeah, there's 350 cars in the game, which is a lot. You also get the old cars, the old boggy crap cars. I mean, I just got a, um, a Dodge Charger. Now, I love the Dodge Chargers, I think they look brilliant. They're such a classy looking car. I mean, if I had the money, if I was a millionaire, I'd have a, a big collection of American muscle cars and a Dodge Charger would be at the top of the list, definitely, but in this game, they don't really, you know, they don't really fit anywhere in it. I don't... Unless there's a class of race just for them kind of cars, which is fair enough. But it's not going to be your everyday running around car within the game. You're not going to be choosing that to go from, you know, your different exhibition thingies. You, um, what are they called? I forgot what they're called now. Oh, they don't show up on the map right now. The, um, the, I forgot the name of them now. The base, like, things. Yeah, them. You know, you're not going to be using that car to go around between them to other ones in the different races. You're going to pick something that's quite nimble and nippy like this, or you're going to pick a dune buggy or something. Somewhat off-road that you can just go where you want. So, it kind of annoys me when cars like that are included. Like, I understand why they include them, because everybody likes to see them and they're good to have and that, but you really going to use them that much in the game, which is... Wow, that was a good drift. You're not going to really use them, so... Another drift. Already oh, finishes first. Yeah. I think there's only been like two races up to now where I've finished second. It's not that hard. You can increase the difficulty as you go along the more um, 
zones that you open up it'll come up asking if you want to increase the difficulty but I've just stuck with the easy one now the piece of piss difficulty I just got off the phone with the Horizon people. I'm this close to getting our next stage green lit. I just need to show them bigger attendance. Numbers. That's it, stage green lit thing. Out? That's them hub things, places. That's it. Do you know I'm going to look now because it's really annoying me? What are they called? That's it, you festivals. You festivals, that's it. I get it now. Another thing I notice about this game is, and it's probably because it's a Microsoft game, is you can tap in and out of the game insanely quick. I do find that a lot of games, especially for me because I've got two monitors running, is when I tab out that they'll both flicker on and off and things will move. And if I've got Firefox or Microsoft Edge up and one will move to the top screen or I'll only get half of it and it, it becomes really annoying. But this, you can just flick in and out, no problems whatsoever, really, really quick. Right then, uh, let's have a look. Um, I'm probably going to leave it there for today, and we shall do some more of this maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I want to get like a series going, so and in the morning is the only time when this house is quiet enough for me to do it. So because it's like what seven o'clock now, so it's my bedtime. So yeah, but it's a really good game. If you're thinking of getting it. Don't think no more, just get it. I can highly recommend it. So, And by the way, I'm not sponsored by Microsoft. I've only got 15 subscribers, that'd be crazy. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content from me. And I shall catch you all in the next one. Take care.